I'm in Drummondville, Quebec, and despite some controversy, many people say that poutine was invented right here in the 1950s. This traditional dish started as a local specialty, but is now eaten around the world. Charles-Alexandre Théoret is the author of a book dedicated to poutine. He is, without a doubt, one of the world's experts on this unique dish. Tell me, Charles Alexandre, who's crazy enough to write a whole book about poutine? Well, I, I guess I am, but it's, it's, <laughs> it was really obvious because poutine is the new fast food queen, you know? It was invented uh, in Quebec, in rural Quebec, in the mid-50s. Uh, we don't know, we will never know. But know? I thought it was here at uh, Roy Jusset. That's one of the places who, uh, who said that they invented it, but every village in the region here, they all claim that they invented poutine, you know? But, but there's yeah. a couple that stands out. Yeah, there are two cities. There are Warwick and here Drummondville who have both stories that, you know, are believable. Wow. Yes. That's something. Tell me, first question. What I is <laughs> for you the perfect poutine? Uh, well, this is close enough. Uh, <laughs> crispy fries, yeah. uh, a thick and tasty gravy, mm -hmm. and of course the cheese. It needs to be squeaky. Yeah. You need to ear it and to taste it. So this looks perfect. And this thing, became also really popular outside the country a lot because of Martin Picard. Eh? Yeah, Martin Picard, uh, the famous chef in Montreal, the Pied de Cochon, uh, he took some foie gras and put it right on, on top. Yeah, right on top on a, on a fine poutine, on the perfect, most perfect poutine. And of course, it became something else. And he's good friend with Anthony Bourdain also. Eh? And yeah, Anthony Bourdain, the, uh, the TV host and chef and author. He has a uh, worldwide audience. And he came to Montreal, he did a show on the poutine, and it became uh, World star. Something that now we can be proud of, eh? Yeah. Now you can have a poutine anywhere on the planet. Basically, because uh, you know what? There are Canadians in Africa, in Asia, who go there and they open small restaurants. And one of the first things they think about is uh, make a poutine. And I would even say that the unthinkable happened a couple of years ago. Yeah, it became a word in the dictionary, in the Merriam-Webster, so Whoa. now it exists. Poutine has gone from a Quebec snack bar favorite to a standout dish in many restaurants. It became so popular that in 2007, the New York Times called poutine the new favorite dish in the Big Apple. And that's why we are the best.